All right, so in this one, we're gonna discuss just the minor differences between using command prompt and terminal. Terminal is an application in Unix systems, so that means Mac or Linux, uh, where command prompt is what we use in Windows. And uh, it's not a whole lot different, but there are some minor differences that I wanna show you. First off, DIR is how we list everything out in Windows. It will show us all the files as well as all the directories in there. So DIR will represent a directory and if we want to change into a directory, we can do CD just like in Linux or Linux or uh, Mac. And we go CD desktop, and then um, we can also CD dot dot slash. It dot dot slash is still taking us back, but that's not technically how you should be doing it. You should be doing CD dot dot uh, that slash. So uh, just keep that in mind. So if we change into desktop, let's do that again. I can keep it lowercase. Sometimes the lowercase actually don't work out well for us um, on Windows, so keep that in mind too. You might need to have it capitalized, especially if the folder itself is capitalized. Uh, follow along with what the folder is, and if you're ever unsure, just type DIR and you'll see all the different folders. Uh, the next thing is we use nano sometimes. Uh, nano is a way to actually create a file and or edit a file within terminal. Command prompt, we don't have that, so uh, we can't really do that. Touch is another one. Uh, touch creates the file. Um, so for in order for us to create a file in command prompt, it's fairly simple. We just do echo and then whatever we want in the file. So you could even just do two parentheses, so nothing in the file, and then python file.py. And that creates an actual file called python file. And for us to edit it, Let's uh, minimize everything. We see it here. We would want to open it, you know, with some editor. So, like, I have Sublime Text 2 installed, so I can actually edit this file with that text editor. And if you notice, it actually gives me uh, the quotes actually in this file. So, when you're doing it, make sure that you do double check. So, if I do just echo Python file2.py and then I look at Python file2 open with sublime text now it says echo is on so you want to make sure that you're double checking these files um, on how they actually come through when you do use echo um, so that actually creates those files for us uh, that's pretty much the differences the main differences that we're gonna come across um, and then of course there's path issues so in in uh, Mac it, like basically it'd be like users slash jmitch slash desktop something like that where in windows you want to use the other slash going the other direction um, so that way you can you can see that there is a difference with how the paths are written written out and um, luckily python gives us some universal path solutions for that so it would work your project would work on a linux or a windows computer and we show you how to set that up later but something to talk about uh, just so you know um, other than that, that's the main differences. Uh, I can't really think of anything right now. If you do run into anything and you want to add to this video, please leave it in the comments. Um, and also you could email me or contact me if you come into some, some issue that I may have missed. I don't use Windows as much, but I do realize that a lot of people have Windows and they still do work very well for doing any of these projects. It's the exact same. It just You just take a few extra steps to actually get Python installed. Um, but other than that, it's it's very basically the exact same thing, and that's because it's an open source technology. So Python uh, and Django are both open source, so therefore they're supported by pretty much anyone who wants to build a library for whatever computer they're trying to use. So in this case, it's a Windows. But yeah, if you have any other questions, again, let me know. So thank you, and let's get started making some projects. All right, see you in the next one.